which I think is great, is definitely a great, uh, great way to, to, to advance the interface forward. However, um, it depends on the pinch. The pinch gesture. So when I pinch and dra grab, I think you want to really look at what is that gesture, like what is comfortable for the hands, because a lot of these systems have you do this, and this is not, this is not comfortable. I mean, you, know, you can do some fun dances that way, right? <laughs> oh, uh, my hand for Hollow is one is just to do puppet mouth. Obviously, I have a reason. Really, it's just cool and one dimension. Honestly, it's really immersive. It's, you know, <laughs> and so we need to start thinking about other ways that we want to have safe browsing and we want the user to be in control. So one example would think about physical proximity. So you have content that's being rendered possibly close to you, and I should be able to say, I'm not comfortable with anything rendering closer than five meters away from me. Or I probably would never want to allow someone to whisper in my ear. Um, information should be fluid and accessible, like a uniform melted metal alloy. It's like, it's like the junkyard, right? What if information could be like, you know, melted alloy instead of like a bunch of disjoint cars? Uh, that's the ideal. And so the solution, getting into the very interesting stuff here. So I want to introduce kind of, oh, oh here we go. I want to introduce a concept that's um, computer vision for ubiquitous access. Um, the idea is that if you can see it, you can control it. Um, so I'm going to actually go into each of these. Um, probably a side effect of user training. And there are many, many ways that we could train people in attentive listening. Through sound-based puzzles and games, um, simple sound graphing, um, perhaps even field recording and analytical listening to sound walks, or learning how to add a scripted sound to a computer game so it, such that it conveys information about the state of the game. The important thing is to create an expectation that you can derive information from the sound whether in the hopes of experiencing the auditory sublime, or sadly, more likely, just letting it go into the background.